Oh my god. I can't believe I can't believe I'm here right now. Okay, okay. You might have heard of a city called Budapest. Budapest, as the Americans call it, actually pronounced Budapest. Alright, that's the capital of Hungary and I visited that place like a year and a half ago. Right now I'm at a city that sounds like Anybody really to accomplish their wildest dreams, you gotta learn fucking fast. You gotta learn really fast, like exponentially fast, like J curve hockey stick motherfucking fast. All right, and I'm gonna show you how in this video. So sit back, relax, subscribe, like it if you if you feel inclined, and enjoy the show. Evan is the best person ever, yeah. and you can learn lots of cool things from him. <laughs> Okay, so the reason that I'm making this really quick is because lately in my life I've been dealing with this kind of uh, dynamic, dynamics right word, and it's coming up and it's kind of on my mind. So check it out. When we want to learn something outside of school, we do it for one primary reason: is that we want to learn new information in order to benefit the quality of our lives, we want to improve our life, right? So check this out. There's a thing that prevents us from learning. It's called the ego. Alright, and the ego is a survival mechanism. It's the reason that humans are around right now. And you should thank the ego for letting you be alive right now. Whether it's your grandfather, his father, and all those motherfuckers on the bloodline would not have survived foraging food. Okay, the ego is actually great. However, in modern society, in modern times like this, when you're in a bustling city, you're not worried about survival. Go to the food shop right over there. You go to your apartment for shelter. We got water. We got fountains. All right, we got fountains. We do not need survival mechanisms anymore. So the ego was designed to keep us alive and make us start thinking about the future and our past reflections. Anyway, essentially what it does is it's a way of identifying our sense of self with something that we did in the past. Traditionally, we think of ego as, oh, he's egotistical. What does that mean? Well, he's very full of himself. He, he may not subcon he may not totally realize this, but it's because he's proud of his past accomplishments or feats, whatever he did in the past. That's why he's being so egotistical, because he thinks it's a shit because of his past problems. Okay, so that's going to relate to you, it relates to me, it relates to every motherfucker living, alright? So, what that means is that if somebody comes along to an egotistical person, or anybody really, really, and maybe shows them a new way of doing something that they've been doing for an extended period of time, it's going to be met with resistance, which is the ego. So, for example, this is a more real example, it's not like kicking the ball. In my life, recently, I had to look back and reflect upon the way that I was conducting my relationships. Romantically, with my family, with my friends, with my loved ones. Okay? And the 
way that I was conducting relationships up until a certain point in time was successful. I liked where they were going. I liked the quality. I liked what I could do with it. And I liked what they were producing. But things changed direction. And I was not getting the outcomes that I wanted. And they were not as healthy as they should have been. And so I was faced with kind of like a fork in the road. And the ego would make you pick one way. So the ego would say, keep doing what you were doing because that's kind of who you are. That's who you were in the past. And it was working back then. If you change now, you lose your sense of self. I hope that makes sense. You can kind of feel what I'm talking about. But you've done something so many times. And you've invested so much energy, a certain methodology, an idea, a way of doing something that if you change that suddenly, it'd be like altering who you are, altering your sense of self. And that's what produces the resistance. Here's the other thing. Pain is the time. I mentioned the word pain. Pain is the counter balance to the ego. I want to use the word, I want to use the word antidote, but it's not the antidote. We'll talk about the antidote later. It's counterbalance. So right here, you got ego. On the other hand, fuzzy head, you got pain. And for me, and for everybody, when the pain increases so much, it can override the ego. And you can put away your past thoughts and feelings and ways of doing things for new and better ways of life. Okay, so a certain amount of pain had to come into my life because it was like a unhealthy relationships and all the stress that I was causing. That had to override the strength of my ego for me to be like, fuck this shit. I don't care what I did in the past. I need to find a solution. I need to figure this shit out. I cannot keep on going like this. New information would come my way and I would devour books, videos, any sort of information to try to fix my problem. Okay, that's pain. And sometimes pain is really good. It shows you that something's fucking wrong. Right? So the pain can override the ego and that's where you start learning. And that's where you go and open up to new ideas and new methodologies. Even if they run completely fucking count even if they run completely counterintuitive to what you've been doing in the past and that is how you learn incredibly fast almost you got pain you got your ego the pain could go up and override the ego or instead of being super miserable with pain and suffering <laughs> there's a way to take a shortcut and this is the antidote you decrease the ego through I've recommended it before I do it every day I just did it for an hour right before I make this video it's called meditation and it's going to make your life way better one of the ways that it's going to make it better is your ego is going to decrease and you're going to learn really fast like exponentially fast like you're going to learn twice as much tomorrow is what you did today about yourself and your surroundings and the day after that it's going to double compound and compound and compound so that you can be super fucking powerful and accomplish your dreams i would not be here where i am today if it wasn't for meditation the fact that i can look at new ideas and perspectives and embrace them without feeling a loss of sense of self okay so if you decrease the ego, you also don't need as much pain to be like, wow, I'm going to seek new information. Let's check out something that's conflicting to my current viewpoint. And what that allows you to do is take bits and pieces of different perspectives, of even the same argument, or just different parts of life, and piece them together into a beautiful mosaic, some sort of personal understanding. So for me, when people ask me, I might be the last person <laughs> I might be the last American who has not decided whether they're pro or against Trump. Okay? I think there's some aspects of him that are fucking amazing, and he also has his negatives. And to be able to say that and look and 
sometimes learn from Donald Trump about some of the amazing things that he's been able to accomplish. And we get a lot of fun here in this. While also learning from the shit that he does bad, that's really great. And you can learn the great things that Hillary Clinton has done. And you can learn the, from the bad things that she's done. This is, for example, politics is a very, very highly debated, wildly fiery, and, uh, and passionate subject. And that's just an example. Just two examples. Even though it is true. When you meditate, I recommend using Headspace. Just do the take 10. Start it off. Just get that boulder rolling. We're going to start with a little bit of inertia, and it's going to snowball into a beautiful daily routine in the morning. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I just meditated for an hour this morning. In a hostel. Who does that? In a hostel at Google, it's Romania. What the fuck? It's so fucking weird. But it's amazing. It's fucking beautiful. God, I'm sorry for swearing so much today, guys. I don't want to put any bias. I don't have any childhoods. Anyway. When you're able to meditate every day, or you have some sort of mindfulness practice, the ego decreases. It allows you to listen to people. I'm going to make a video about listening and how it's the greatest gift that you can give to somebody. It allows you to listen and interpret and start to understand and be genuinely curious about other ideas. And when you do that, you can open up to new ideas, take bits and pieces, and learn at an exponential rate. And this is ultimately going to help you catapult you into your dreams, your wildest fucking dreams. I'm in Bucharest, Romania right now. That's so weird. I didn't know this place existed a couple months ago. When somebody said Bucharest, I was like, oh, you mean Budapest? They're like, no, no, no. The capital of Romania. I'm like, Romania? Oh yeah, there's a country named Romania in Eastern Europe. I'm like, I don't know anything about that. Bucharest, Romania. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you benefit from this. I hope you understand that you have pain and ego. And now that you're aware of this dynamic, it might allow you, even if you don't choose to meditate, just to understand that you can and that you don't necessarily need a ton of pain to do so. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoy it. And have an amazing day. Speak English? English? What? English. English, you spoke in English. You speak English? Yes. Uh, uh, I see it. Just uh, on YouTube. About, about YouTube. Romania. Uh, about Romania. About, uh, about Romania, about ego and pain and how to learn really fast. We are men and know a lot about pain. <laughs> no, a lot about pain. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Just a second. Stack, 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 I really can't stay Cause baby it's cold Outside It's so cold We're so bad at singing Okay So I'm here with a very good friend of mine Hi, I'm Tay. Tay is amazing. Now, so Taylor, yesterday I made a video and I talked about the relationship between pain and ego and the whole process of learning new things. Okay. Is there anything that you'd like to add to that discussion? No pain, no gain. Put down your ego and live your fucking life. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> you just said just so cool. what took me like 10 minutes to say yesterday in about two seconds. Is that all, honey? Yeah, babe. Okay. Evan and I are going to have kids soon. Coming next, Evan and Tay have children. <laughs> April Fools! <laughs> <laughs> Except it's February. Alright. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Peace!
Ja. Miau! Miau! <lacht> <lacht>